how eugenics. <laughs> I mean, it's not Crusader Kings if you're not doing eugenics, whether we're talking about humans or cows. Impeccable household. My spouse's average stewardship skill led to this windfall. 150 prestige, which increased our fame level. So we are now illustrious. We can have some more Knigets and everything. What's the status of our Knigets? What, what is this? Greetings. Oh, you flipped the culture. Nice. To French. Ha, ha, ha. Um, ooh, okay. Well, we have lots of knights available, but we don't have a lot of really good knights. Invite costs us prestige. Okay, hold on. With 12 or more... Pro yeah, let's go ahead and invite some more knights to court, because I think we could use a few more skilled people. Peasants of the County of Shalter are in good mood. The harvest is bountiful, the roads are safe, and the village elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. Peasants are praising me for their fortune, and I have a scent of delegation carrying, carrying gifts. Except 30 gold... Intriguing. Send soldiers to collect more gifts. 60 stressed because you are just. Yeah, that's pretty crap. Although, if we were playing a dread-oriented game... And we will have to play a dread-oriented character at some point. If we can get a character that gets, like, bonuses to dread, we will 100% commit to being a jerk. Or, they know they need the surpluses more than I do. Popular opinion. Development growth. For 10 years? Well, first of all, I think this fits with, you know, some of the stuff we're doing the most. And I think it's going to be okay. It still bothers me, the um, the chainmail gloves. It really does look like people just have stumpy hands. Like, all their fingers have been cut off. No, we're going to continue being fairly gracious in our in our later years of running the kingdom. I mean, we're only 61. We could live for a long time still. At some point, you know, our grief is going to have to pass, right? At some point, something might happen to change how we play this character and mix it up. Yeah, they do look like oven gloves. Uh, you're right. We do have some stress. A feast or... Well, here's the thing. A feast won't burn off stress with us because we're shy. But we could go on a hunt. We could also donate the charity. But let's go on a hunt. We'll lose a ton of stress. And cool things can happen. You would think it's a creature from myth. Perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest heart I've ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. Still imposing sight, lying dead before me. This one will fetch a fine price, 55 gold. I'll we'll have a beautiful trophy made for my son-in-law. Count Gilbert gets an opinion boost. It will be stuffed and sent to the Pope. Higher opinion, you can get maybe more money out of the Pope or something. No, we'll, I mean, we'll just uh, sell the uh, the hide as is. I think it's just a little, it's a little simpler. And we've returned from the hunt, gaining our prestige as well, which is nice. We got lots of it in the bank. I can demand payment from Gilbert Cat Pet. Ah, because I have a hook on him. Another grandson. Heir to the county of Endum. Um. Yeah, he doesn't have enough gold to pay. No, it, it's fine, dude. Just, we'll just dismiss that. It's going to be okay. Extorting a seven-year-old. <laughs> Give me all your allowance money. Break open the piggy bank. Well, 100%. So one of these wars is about to end in favor of my king. There you go. Good for you. Culture's covered moats. Hey, hey. Look how fancy we are. You know what? We're going to go on a pilgrimage. Hopefully, I, I, I haven't been doing it for a while because we're a little older. You know, and maybe the benefits won't last. But actually, we... Oh, no. We have done a pilgrimage. I'm going to do one more pilgrimage. And that will be... Oh, we could recruit the knights, too. Yeah, let's take a quick look. Claim it, sell titles, exhort subjects. Um. Ooh. Okay, well, there's a 27 over here. Wow, that's expensive. But you're really good. Let's grab you. Maybe we'll, we can chill with some of the others. Like, they showed up, which is great. Um, They're really good. And they're young enough they'll be around for a while. Okay. We go on a pilgrimage? What do we think? Did you think 27? I mean, 27 Marshall is not that hard to get. People have posted some pretty crazy screenshots. <clears throat> Uh, oh yeah, the armed pilgrimage. That's right, there's another buff. <gasps> Am I the head of my dynasty? Oh. 
Because, I mean, House Cat Pet is our cadet house. But, yeah, we are the head of the, uh, the Robert Hines. Guys, we finally get the pick. So, what do we think our dynasty should be known for? Now, the best bonuses are over on the right, but the costs do go up, like, pretty crazily. So, we might end up getting a smattering of low-level ones while we slowly focus on one. I mean, blood's pretty good to get all those genetics. And we do have some pretty crazy genetics in our family. Not our current... Everyone wants blood. Okay. Everyone's calling for blood in the chat. Wouldn't be a Twitch chat otherwise. Even if we end up going somewhere else, just getting this first level is really good. You can randomly get new congenital traits, and you can inherit good ones. Um, again, current, our current heir, Odo, doesn't have a, a congenital trait at all. Um, but we've got plenty of them in the family, which is still nice. And, you know, this does mean his kids might get it. Blood for the blood god. Or the Duke choose? Well, I mean, his, our, our whole thing have been to, you know, these, we've gotten some brilliantly smart people. And we clearly value that highly in our family and bloodline. So I think it makes sense, you know? Stock in the stores. With a mighty burp, you pushed the rest of your plate away from the... Uh, I, I pushed the rest of my plate away from me and sprawled back in my chair. Lately, my kitchens have begun to swell with golden grain and freshly hunted game, giving all my courtiers the healthy sheen of the overfed. I grimace. Though this bounty is great, it cannot last forever. I must decide what to do with all this excess food. Salt it or smoke it as long as we store it. Heavily stocked stores. 50% increased garrison side. My guest and I shall uh, dine richly. So 150 prestige. Nearly empty stores. Even the servants shall eat as the duke does. Bread for the peasantry. We still... So we get the nearly empty stores. Reducing the garrison sizes. So, you know, has impacts on, on sieging. Like enemies sieging us and things like that. On the other hand, development growth. And I think it still fits the theme that we've had with our ruler here ever since his uh, son died. As a sadist, you'd have had the option to eat your guests. I, I've seen some interesting decisions in these pop-ups. I mean, the storing it is is the most sort of responsible. Oh well, if it said if it had a if it had a modifier here for something other than just garrison size, I might be tempted to go here because like it should it could give us a buffer against disasters or things. That doesn't seem to be a thing. Yeah, garrison size is a weak bonus. That's sort of the vibe I was getting. So I think this is worth it. Especially, I love the uh, the development uh, boost. That's going to make a big difference because our tech situation is not fantastic. There's not um. There's no tech map mode, is there? Oh, development map mode. Five, six, the ten, twelve. Yeah, we are really behind. Peasant rabble targeting me. Oh come on! Seriously? Well, that's over here. Actually, they're pretty cranky because they think Catholicism is evil. They have a hundred percent fervor. They've lost a lot of holy wars, so they're um they're they're itching for a fight. But their faction strength is basically nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, we finished. Doing a culture conversion. Inspired moderation. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my grandson, Odo, what he thought. He claimed he had learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one can handle. Overreaching can be terrible, uh, dan terribly dangerous, so he gained temperate. Well, he's got temperate, which is really good. Plus two stewardship, the health boost, and it's a Catholic virtue, so he gets extra piety, which is really nice. He could become just, which is a very powerful trait. Stat-wise, it's, it's a net zero. Um... But all your vassals like you more, which is really nice. It was, it was a very valuable one to get in e CK2. I don't know if it's quite as potent here, uh, especially when compared to Temperate, which he's already got. Uh, time to show him how little God cares. God damn, man. Cynical. Cynical is great because it's a net plus four stats, including very powerful ones. Um, it does lower your piety, but I'd be willing to do it. I don't know if I want to spend the stress on it, although it's only 30 stress. I don't think I'm going to go just on this character, just because I want to mix it up, because our current our current character is just. Do we want to stay temperate, or do we want to mix it up with cynical? And just does lead to, like, some hard stress decisions, but it's realistic. It's about... I was going to say 50-50, but no, now now staying and temperate is definitely uh, winning out, so done. And I think, generally speaking, I'm probably going to choose, like, the stay stat a lot in these decisions, because it's just going to be, well, whatever the RNG gave us, we're mostly going to keep. We're mostly going to keep. Some months ago, uh, one of my mares began clearing the land in the forest to prepare for settlement. Trees are uprooted, paths are cut, and ground is swaled. Swaled? 
I don't know that word. Swailed. Uh, the mayor has now written Stuart Hugo to request that his levy duties be reduced. Being anxious to complete the works before the next harvest, he hopes to instead recruit soldiers for labor. Take all the commoners you need. So he would get reduced truck levy for 10 years. 50% reduced levy size, but more development growth. Now, this is only in one province. Or, in fact, in one city. The entirety of rain could do that with you. Ah. So this would be the whole county would get a reduced levy size. Um, but get a discount to building. Okay, I'm not really looking to do that. Uh, or no, the field of battle will need a lot of bodies this year. Levy increase. No, I think we're going to go with take all the commoners. I don't think... Oh, it is... Okay, sorry. Regardless, it is the county. So the whole county of Ren, which is over here, which currently only gives us 59 levies anyway, because it's the wrong culture. We don't have that much control. Um... Yeah. I think we're going to go with this. We don't really need their levies, and the development growth, I think I like it a lot. Okay, now... We are, we got, I was in the middle of doing things. We got stop, three years, three years everywhere for culture conversion. Yeah, okay, we'll just do, we'll just, no. Uh, religious conversion is still going on. Now, the speed that the conversion is uh, based heavily, oh, my wife died, is based heavily on the difference in fervor between the two religions. And Norse fervor is 100%, and Catholic fervor is pretty low right now. My dear Mary, I might not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You are always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There's so many things left unsaid. We got a whole ten stress from losing our wife. But, I mean, she wasn't she wasn't our lover, she wasn't our soulmate or anything like that. So, my wife has died. I probably want to remarry for stats. Not, I don't need, I don't need to marry someone for age or babies. All I, I think I'm looking for is just some of all skills. And I don't really care. 44, technically it might be possible for her to have a baby, but it'd be pretty narrow. Um, she's, oh, insular Christianity. We'd have to get her to convert. I'm just wondering, like, just like, show me infertile people. Um, And maybe I want to pick, like, the person with the highest... Wow, that's 27 intrigue? I was going to say highest stats, but that is of my religion. She's French and Catholic. Paranoid, content, sadistic. Apparently I got to think for sadistic women, you guys. Hmm. Or really high stewardship. That's true. Well, let's assert my stewardship explicitly first and see what the deal is. Adelina over here. Or maybe Cre she's older, so she's gonna die sooner. I'm gonna say she's got a higher total amount of stats, and she's Catholic. Okay, maybe Adelina, 54, less likely to kick the bucket before we do. <clears throat> Technically, the most stewardship. I'll lose a ton of prestige, true, but out of curiosity. Yeah, um, we have to go quite low before we hit a non-lowborn. Baron doesn't bother me. Uh, well, that's interesting. You're 27, but Baron. I mean, you could still have a baby, but... You know what? Not going to deal with this just yet. Excellent. And there you go. Even without putting her on a stewardship focus, we do have enough to be at 7 domain. Excellent. There's going to be some point claims that aren't pressed, and I think that's just going to have to be okay. Out of curiosity, who can we declare war? You know what I'd love? Is if there was a way to highlight all the places you could declare war against. Even mousing over here doesn't really show you things. Some of these are pretty big claims.
Oh yeah, and some of these are against the king, too. Like it's kind of it's kind of annoying how it. If I, if I declare war on her, then it's her. But if I just click on the county and click on him and declare war, it goes all the way up to the king. Not to the duke, but to the king. Yeah, you're pretty potent. Count Hugo, yeah, and I don't really care about pressing his claims. Way over there. I don't. I don't think there's anything I need to worry about too much. Again, you know, we, we're not playing this as a blobbing thing. We don't. We don't care about that. I mean, obviously, long term, yes, but we don't have to necessarily go cray cray. I'm not fabricating claims. Again, that might be what our error does. We'll see. Oh, new perk. Um. Actually, let's do this. We have cheaper building. We'll get more taxes now. I'd like to petition you in your wisdom to consider my claim for the Banate of Croatia. It's not right. So, you know what? I have other pressing matters. He's going to... Oh, he's one of my counts already? My grandson and vassal? Oh. Well, hold on then. Oh, those are some pretty big numbers. Yeah, and it's just for a single. Is this a duke level title? Yeah. It would be a duchy level title for my grandson. Hmm. I'd have to call in all my allies. Are you married? It's whiskey and chocolate. Now, how do we get in this situation? So, I'm not being told that I have a family member that can marry. Hold on, what if I reset? No, I'm not being told. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Kinu, thank you. One second. We're not being told that we have a family member that can marry. This guy's not married, but he's also not allowed to marry. It's whiskey and chocolate. Can I not arrange him? Oh, there we go. Speak of this. Um, Count Nicholas, are you in the list? Am I picking from mine first? That might be it. Yeah, there we go. Right. I guess if I do it this way, I'm I can't right, I can't play math major because I'm like, maybe I can get him married to someone in the HRE and get an alliance that way or something, but no, I can't I can't actually play that level of matchmaker. I can get him married. She's 39, I don't want to do that. Uh so what I should do is I should just tell him that he's allowed to get married on his own. It's whiskey and chocolate. Got more whiskey and chocolate. What's that? He's my vassal. He's not in someone else's court. The count, he's my vassal. He, so he's clearly my direct vassal. So I'm going to allow him to marry himself. Or to, to get married on his own. But I'm going to tell him, unfortunately, I can't help you get this duchy. How many people of my dynasty might be waiting for me to arrange a marriage for them, but not actually show up over here? Well, I guess I can open the character finder. By the way, the hotkey for this is C. Um, what I should do, we got tons of whiskey and chocolate. You guys debate for a second, in, in a second, what's going to happen here. We'll pause. Um, I set this to all. Dynasty, mine, married, unmarried, adult, yes, an adult. There we go. So we have four people of our dynasty who are not currently married that we may want to arrange marriage for. So that's good to know. Yeah, so let's give that a little bit of think while I check on chat and then come over here as well. 
Uh, Wooly cow. So that was three back-to-back -back contributions to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fun. Uh, Kinu, thank you very much for that. Hey, Quill, I've been watching your videos and streams for a long time now. Rarely catch one live, though. Bought this game, thanks to you, and don't regret it one bit. Thanks for all the entertainment over the years. I think we're all going to be, like, there's, there's not really a question mark around CK3, right? It's not like Imperator, where they're still like, I'm still hoping that they, they find a magic there. Because I feel like it's so close, and yet it's not, it's... The problem with Imperator is it has to be compared to EU4, and EU4 is too goddamn good. With CK3, really, you're comparing it to CK2, and it's like... No, CK3 is pretty goddamn good. CK3 is pretty good. It's like the new standard. Um, but yeah, I think everyone's going to be pretty happy with CK3. If you haven't picked it up yet, I, I don't think there's anything... I, I don't think there's uh, there's really any doubt in my mind that it's a, it's like, it's a 10. Call, call me IGN, because I'm going to be giving this game a 10 out of 10. Raider Honor, thank you very much for that really generous contribution. Uh, Savoy series is brilliant. Excited to see the outcome of the Coalition War. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. I, I, I kind of like exhausted myself last week because I recorded tons of episodes. I think, don't I do something like seven episodes one day, ten the next, and then three or four more the day after that to try to finish the series before we started CK3? Um, so is, is pretty rough work, but man, oh man, did I enjoy that run so much. So I'm done. I'm waiting to see how you guys feel about the outcome of all that. Um, so thank you, Raid Runner. And Orpheus as well. Hey, Quill, I don't do this often enough, but have some Swedish chocolate and or whiskey on me. Yeah, I could I could go for a little bit more Swedish chocolate. Uh, I think the last care package, all of it has been consumed. And I don't know. There must be a place we can order some, some Swiss chocolate here. Or sorry, some Swedish chocolate here in Canada. Uh, because it is really, really good. I'm not keen on all the ones all the time that have black licorice in them, which seems to be very popular in Scandinavia as a whole. I like it on occasion. Um, but the chocolate quality is like 10 out of 10, man. 10 out of 10. Finished chocolate, also good, Juna. Also good. But Scandinavia as a whole seems to have like really figured out chocolate. And, and it's like, you know, you hear about Swiss chocolate, which is excellent. And Belgian chocolate and things you don't what you don't hear about is like Scandinavian chocolate stuff and it needs more attention because it's good all right uh Count Nicholas I think I just arranged a marriage for him or yeah 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 I was I could so it'd be Ambrosia but she's there we don't have in my court I don't have any other like fertile females to send him I did allow him to marry. That's true. I guess that was the important part. Um, so if we come over here. So there's not a checkbox. Oh, maybe because he's not a vast. Maybe the vassals work differently. She is betrothed. Okay, well, that's good. And you are also betrothed. So you're good. So it's just a Regiland over here. My sister, but she's 56. I mean, you know what? She deserves someone. Can I arrange... Can I get an alliance out of this? No. Do I need to worry about her being married in any way? Would it make any difference? I don't think so. I think, she, I think it doesn't matter what happens with her. Okay. Let's do some construction. So again, I'm going to give some love to, to Vans here because I think it might become one of our spots later on. Um, I think some of these castles might be fun. Um, I think I'm going to focus on anything that gives... Well, there's quite a few things that give us taxes. Not much of. Oh, a trade port we can build with also development growth. Yeah, let's do that. Excellent. I mean, I'm currently in Montague and we'll still be here for a little while. So maybe I can go and give a little more there. Can we do trade port here too? Yeah. All right, let's do that, and then we'll we'll save the rest of the money for, you know, rainy day fund emergencies. I want to keep a country, make your capital. I'm not worried about the um, uh, things being split up right now, because we only have a single person who can inherit everything, apparently, right now. So we don't have to worry. But yes, that is a good point. Because whoever your heir is will get your primary thing. So you can keep a title, uh, counting by moving it there. I just hadn't, hadn't fully committed yet to necessarily being vain, um, because... There's no Duchy of Brittany yet. And it's not like your 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 personal capital has to be a, a Duchy capital. 
That's just where you build the duchy buildings, but it seems like a pretty good idea, right? Happened despite your wife's terrible learning skill. Woo! Yeah, Marabou's excellent. Marabou chocolate has a chocolate bar right now with the taste of apple pie. A taste I suspect they will drop since it doesn't taste any good. I was going to say, I love apple pie. Apple desserts are some of my favorites in the world. Very high tier. Very high for me. Apple pie chocolate bar sounds awful. But Marabou is excellent chocolate. Holy crap. Imprison someone. We can make payment. We can go on the pilgrimage still. I think I'm just still going to sit on the money. Maybe like every time we hit 500 bucks or something. Or maybe we'll just focus on these two provinces right now. Fair in Lyon. In the county of Lyon lies a field that would be perfect for a large annual fair. Two 